Hi there ladies and gentlemen, this is Eastwood for Life Fan and this is Westerns for Life and in this video we'll be checking out this release from Eureka, Masters of Cinema of the uh, Fistful of Dynamite aka Duck You Sucker and also known as Once Upon a Time The Revolution Movie and this is the uh, Eureka release and it's come in a uh, limited collector's set and it is numbered 219 in their catalogue and first time released in the UK on Blu-ray this is the J card and shows what you get in this uh, edition you do get two cuts of the movie you get the uh, US cut and you get the Italian 157 minute cut with an English audio and it comes in a 2k restoration transfer which was made in uh, 2009 and I've got to say this movie has never looked as good watched it the other day beautiful transfer and you get two excellent commentaries by Spaghetti Western experts Christopher Fraylin, Sir Christopher Fraylin, and also Alex Cox. And they do know their info about the uh, Spaghetti Western genre. And you get an interview with uh, film critic and writer Kim Newman. And he's always very informative. Some excellent documentaries, plus a 60-page booklet with this set. And this is a Region B release. So we will go through the contents. And I'll just remove the J card. Just remove the J card. And on the back, missed opportunity, nothing on the back. And we'll go through the MRA case and the booklet. Nice sturdy box case nice and solid from Eureka very similar to Arrow Video you do get a choice of two sleeves I've selected the uh, the Italian sleeve and then you get the choice of the uh, UK and uh, US poster artwork for the sleeve but I much prefer the uh, the Italian sleeve, something different to the set. These are the discs, the US, then you get the Italian. It will go through the booklet. And this movie was part of the uh, second trilogy of movies by Sergio Leone. The first trilogy were the Clint Eastwood uh, dollar trilogy movies. But this one, Leone planned to do three historical times in the movies with a few decades apart in each movie. The first one being Once Upon a Time in the West, then this movie, and then the last one for the trilogy was Once Upon a Time in America and the movie stars Rod Steiger and James Coburn Rod Steiger plays a Mexican bandit Juan Miranda and actually the role was made for Eli Wallach right, that's not to say that Rod Steiger didn't do a great performance as the Mexican bandit because he did uh, a few times his accent sounds more like the Cuban Al Pacino Scarface character but quite comedic at times as the Mexican bandit who robs with a large family and he plans, Juan Miranda plans to rob the big bank in Mese Verde and then he meets James Coburn's character John Mallory an Irishman, ex-IRA man who has fled Ireland to Mexico and he discovers that 
John Mallory is an expert in explosives. It works well with dynamite and he could be useful in helping him rob the bank in Messe Verde, which they form a partnership, which Coben's character is a little bit reluctant at first. They do break into the bank, but there's no gold or cash there, just Mexican political prisoners. And they release all the prisoners. And then uh, Miranda, he becomes a uh, hero among the uh, Mexican people. And he doesn't really want to become a hero within the revolution as his, his whole aim is to become rich. And then uh, Miranda and Malori, they become dragged. They, they get dragged into the uh, war of the Mexican Revolution. Fine booklet, high quality photos and information, pictures of the uh, the scene on the bridge where they blow up, one of my favourite scenes in the movie. And this Spaghetti Western kind of gets overlooked a little bit, as it's more of a political Spaghetti Western. It's a revolution Zapata Spaghetti Western, about the Mexican re Revolution. And it does have some grand scenes of explosions, shootouts, and uh, massacres. And it's, there's a few brutal scenes. Picture of Sergio Leone and the uh, maestro himself, Anino Morricone, which he made another beautiful, beautiful score and soundtrack to this movie, one of his bet best uh, scores and an interesting featurette you do get a uh, documentary titled uh, sorting out the versions which explains some of the scenes deleted scenes depending on which version you saw this music movie can be a little bit confusing if you'd watched the uh, US release first, but I strongly advise to watch the Italian cut of the movie. And you do also get an interesting featurette, the locations then and now, the set of the, the movie. James Coburn, he did make another Spaghetti Western movie after this, A Reason to Live, A Reason to Die with Bud Spencer and Terence uh, and Telly Savalas picture of uh, Steiger's uh, family Miranda's family Italian poster an American poster there so guys let me let us know what you think of this movie and if you've picked up this release and how it compares to the other spaghetti western movies not as good as The Good, Bad and Ugly and Once Upon a Time in the West, but definitely one of the better Spaghetti Western movies about the Mexican Revolution in Duck You Sucker, which is the title that I prefer to call, which was uh, Leone's uh, preferred title. So guys, that is... A look at the uh, Eureka Masters of Cinema Collector's Edition of A Fistful of Dynamite, Duck You Sucker, aka Duck You Sucker. And I would leave the uh, Eureka trailer of this movie down below showing the transfer. And I'll also leave the original movie trailer of this uh, fine spaghetti western movie. So guys, till the next video, which will be another Westerns for Life uh, review of movies up and coming. So guys, stay healthy and well, and as always, 
Westerns for Life.